guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Cooking 101, everyone. Starting today, I'm going to change the layout of the pictures that I put on my channel and the way I present to you guys my dish. So this way, you know what I'm talking about. I, I'm not going to slice them anymore. So this is how it looks like from now on. So for today's dish, we're going to have some beef bones. This is for our budget meals. For those of us that can't afford to buy a nice meat to cook, to make them into a soup, beef bones is one of the best ingredients to make a good soup. So this is my dish for today. So I have here at least 3 kilo of beef bones. There you go, guys. But these are not just like bones. As you guys can see, there's also some meat in there. And these are my ingredients for today. We have here some scallions, bell peppers. I have the yellow and the red bell peppers. Two steak tomatoes, big ones. These are the big tomatoes that I use whenever I make some soup. We also have our lemongrass. There you go. And I have one and a half onions here. This one, I use it this morning, so that's why I have one and a half there. And then I have one whole papaya, the cooking papaya. For our vegetables, I have here some fresh spinach. And at the same time, I also have some fresh um, bok choy, baby bok choy. So let's start cooking, everyone. So these are all my ingredients for today's dish. And then of course, we're going to use some salt and pepper. And we're going to do this step by step. So let's start, start cooking. Okay friends, our pot for our soup is ready. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to boil the beef bones before we turn them into a soup. I always make a habit of doing that because I don't want my soup to be with blood. So this way, it's going to be clean. So we're just going to put all the beef bones in here. Boiled it for like at least 10 minutes before we turn them into a soup. another pot for our soup the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our first ingredients so first we're going to put the lemongrass and friends make sure that when you use the lemongrass don't forget to pound the end part because that's how you get the nice flavor of the lemongrass so lemongrass in also we're going to have our tomatoes Next, our onions. I'm going to use this, my spoon, because it's so hot, you guys. So we're going to let this one simmer while we're waiting for our bones to finish. Okay friends, so we're going to let this one boil while we're waiting for our soup and then I'll show you guys the next step. Let's cover them back. This is our beef bones now. After I boiled it, I rinsed them to make sure that there's no gunk in between the bones. And as you guys can see, it's nice and clean. So the next step, we're going back to our pot here. So for this pot, I'm going to add some black pepper. Whole black pepper, guys, okay? 
So, got some black pepper here. A little bit more. And then, we're going to put our beef bones over here inside this pot. So, let's do that. And we're going to let this one boil for 45 minutes or until the meat are soft. Okay, so we're just going to let this one simmer. We're going to um, turn the stove temperature in, in simmer. And that's it. We're going to cover them back. Cover them. And we wait. Here are our beef bones right now. So I removed them from the soup so that I have enough space for my veggies. So these are very soft already see it's very very soft so this is our soup so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to let this soup boil one more time and then we're going to put the rest of our ingredients so let's cover them back okay friends let's check our soup okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add all of our bell peppers so we have the yellow ones and the red also we're going to add our scallions when making this kind of soup guys if you have a lot of scallions in your fridge or in your backyard, it's the soup will taste better if you add extra. We're going to add our papaya as well. And we're going to let this one simmer for 10 minutes. Let me just mix it a little bit. Okay. So let's cover them back. And we wait. Okay, friends, after 10 minutes, let's check our soup. Ooh, look at that, guys. It smells so good. Now, we're going to season our soup. I'm just going to add 4 tablespoons of the fish sauce. If you guys don't like to use fish sauce, then you can just use the regular salt. So, let me do that. Okay. Next, I'm going to add the baby bok choy. 
a lot of vegetables guys is good for you especially if you have a problem um, eliminating your bowel just eat a lot of fiber we're going to add the spinach last because the spinach we don't have to you know simmer it So we're just going to let this one simmer for five minutes and we're going to add our spinach and that's about it you guys and i'm going to show you guys the finished product oh let me just taste the soup and guys look at my soup look it's very clean you don't see anything floating on the soup so when you boil your meat first before you turn them into a soup this is the kind of soup that you guys will have. It's nice and clear broth. So let me just try the soup and we will cover the pot. Oh man, one of the best. Okay guys, I'll show you guys the finished product friends this is our finished product if you guys like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet you guys please don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching have a blessed day everyone wherever you are in the world and may the good lord bless us all i hope you guys like this recipe